What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another one. Um, this is a response video to the boxologist. What's going on? Um, he was speaking on Danny Garcia, sort of questioning his resume and um, questioning is he a world class fighter and his resume kind of bunk. And I, I sort of can debunk or I'm going to sort of debunk what he's talking about, okay? Uh, first of all, I'm going to say this. It's a difference between having world-class skills and being a world-class fighter. For example, Amir Khan has world-class skills, but he's not a world-class fighter. So it's a difference. You get what I'm saying? And to say that is, Danny Garcia is a world-class fighter. He may not necessarily have the world-class speed like Amir Khan or, you know, all the tricks and the slickness of Floyd Mayweather and the movement like Bradley, you know, nothing like that. But he, he does everything decent, and he gets the, the job done. He's just a world-class fighter. And another thing I have to say is from Nate Campbell – all the way up to Matisse, he was expected to lose. Okay? All in fights, he was the underdog in all in fights. He was the underdog in um, Nate Campbell, Kendall Holt, um, Morales, when he won the belt, the vacant belt, the WBA belt. Um, I think it was the WBC. It was one of them. Then he fought um, Amir Khan. Unified the titles. Then he fought Eric Morales again. Then um, uh, Zab Judah, and then Lucas Matisse. All of them he was he was scheduled to lose. My G, you can't say you you ain't you know you saying about his resume and shit. I know some of them names on there is not super impressive, world class. You claim he could have um, fought Provodnikov. But this guy he's fighting now beat providing the call. You see what I'm saying? And and you just gotta take it in fact every fight from Nate Campbell, he was expected to lose, man. Everything. He was expected to lose against Amir Khan. See, Danny he 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 a catch and shoot sort of fighter. You hit he block your punch and he shoot a a shoot a counter. That's how he fight. That's how he fought Matisse. That's how he fighting Garcia. I mean, that's how he was fighting Amir Khan. That's how he was fighting Zab Judah. Um, not so much so of um, Eric Morales. He was just fighting, boxing Eric Morales. But he was doing his catch and shoot game. Um, that's one thing I can say he great at. That's the only fucking thing. The counter catch and shoot. That's the only thing I can say Danny Garcia great at. I watch him fight, and he, he constantly do that. And his timing is, is, is pretty damn good. He got good timing. But anyway, Kareem Mayfield called Danny Garcia out. Um, I think it was before the Zab Judah fight or after the Zab Judah fight. I'm not sure. But um, it's like, okay, everybody wants their shot. Who have Mayfield fought, though? You know what I'm saying? Mayfield is a dog. He known for going to um, giving people that work and sparring. But this is not sparring in the gym. This is not none of that. I mean, I think he should fight um, Kareem Mayfield too. That's a good. That's a, a a wonderful test. I think he should fight Lamont Peterson too. I think he should fight the the dude that just fought Lamont Peterson, Chris John. I think Hank Landy should get a shot too. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I think all them supposed to get a shot. But for you to come and, 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 and say he just got to the top when he fought Matisse, you know what I'm saying, on top of the fact, too. You know, now he's reigning champion. Now you got to see what he can do. Is he going to fight, take on these fights now that everybody want to see him about something? At first, didn't nobody even want to see him about something. Two, you, you don't take that in consideration neither. But all his fights, he was expected to lose, man. Probably this is the only fight 
They're going against this guy. He going to blow out the water most likely. But we'll see what's the next move after this. I just have to raise a couple points to you and put it in perspective for you and let you know from Nate Campbell to fucking Lucas Matisse, all, all them fights, Zab Judah, um, Amir, he was suspect to lose, man. That's what makes a world-class fighter. It's a difference, man. You know, and um, I just had to let you know about that, boxologist. I holla.